Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how you can make a very simple black and white value map when you're uh, painting from photo reference. It really helps to have a simplification and not just squint. So here I'm going to use adjustment layers in Photoshop for this. So there's my image of Sarah. There's the adjustment layer, that little icon. There's two different ways you can do this. You've got hue and saturation or black and white. So let's try black and white. Boom, that easy. That's all you have to do. So let me demo this one more time. I got rid of that. Let's go back to the adjustment layer and let's choose hue saturation. Now you've got this little slider in the middle called saturation here in this panel. And if you drag it to the right, you're going to get more colors. It's going to be more intense. If you drag it all the way to the left, it loses, co loses color and it just turns black and white. Here I'm dragging it again. But there you go. That's all you need to do. So that's one adjustment layer. We can add more adjustment layers to this. So next, we're going to uh, posterize this baby. And there's a little posterize. And so now we're getting more hard-edged uh, poster map. It's still a little too complex. Let's move it down to a smaller number, like a two. If you drag it up, it gets more complicated again. But we're trying to simplify the values, like we're squinting. Just a way to get rid of detail. Uh, let's do one other thing to this. We can soften those values a little bit. I'm going to duplicate this layer. And then I'm going to go to my filters here and go to noise, noise median. And just drag the little head uh, preview there. I'm going to kind of move it. See, if you move it up, it simplifies it too much. It smooths everything up. But I'm just going to simplify it a little bit, smooth it out a touch. And that looks pretty cool. So that's just another way you can simplify your values just to use that along with your other photo reference uh, while you're painting. So then there's another program that you can use on an iPad or an iPhone, and they may even have it for Android, but that I'm not sure, but it's called Notanizer, Notanizer, and you can get that in the App Store. Uh, so here it is. This is what it looks like. And uh, we're going to switch to an iPhone view now. So uh, at the bottom left, you can see a camera icon. And the second one is a little picture icon. I'm going to click that. Those are my photos. And there's a picture of G there. And it comes right in on the Notan button you see on the top left. Now I can drag that little slider. And it does a really great job of making a high value contrast map of just two colors, black, black and white. No tens, black and white. But you can get three values. There's just black and white, a full black and white photo. There's the color photo. Here's three levels of no tan, and you've got all these different sliders on three levels that you can adjust. You just have to mess around with this. See how I'm making that. I don't have very much experience with this. I just am screwing around with it, basically. Um, let's see. So that's just with the three levels, just trying to get different things going. Then there's, uh, oh, that I kind of like a lot. This, uh, where there's just uh, the white value so big. So it just makes it really easier to see the patterns of light and dark. And you use this in conjunction with your color reference. Uh, there's something called levels where you can just decrease or increase the levels. Then there's four levels, and you've got other sliders that you can move back and forth to see if you can get something going there that looks good for that as well. So that's really the Notanizer. And then you see a button on the bottom right. You can click on that and save it to uh, wherever you want to go. You can airdrop it, send it as a message or mail, however you want to do that. So it's a really cool little program. I think it's three or four dollars. Very cheap. All right, that's it.